Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about how to freeze rows or columns in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is, how to freeze rows in Excel. Now we might want to start our practical mode. So currently we are on Excel and this is our spreadsheet data. So here you can see columns and rows. So especially the fourth row and the column C, right? So uh, currently we have data on our uh, spreadsheet and it is exceeding the number of rows currently visible on our screen, right? So when you scroll down, you can see that the header or the headers of all the columns are getting vanished or scrolled up along with the data, right? And you might want to keep that so that you'll have reference to every single aspect of or every single cell data you're referring to, right? So for that reason, you might want to freeze this. And also you might have a doubt, what if uh, even, uh, even I had this data in the column section, right? And what if I had to freeze that and, you know, when, when you scroll this and keep that data uh, set on the column as it is, right? So we can also do that. Let's look at both of them. So there is a simple process to do that. All you have to do is select the cell or for which you want to, uh, you know, set the or freeze the column adjacent to it or the row adjacent to it, right? So currently I want to, let me expand it. So currently I want to freeze this particular row, right? And this particular column. So the cell I would be selecting is the first cell here, that is D5, right? So when I select this particular cell, I can be able to freeze this particular row and this particular column. So now, you need to navigate to the toolbar and then select the view menu and inside view option you can see there is an option of freeze panes right so click on the drop down so you can see three different options as we discussed earlier we can either choose to freeze an entire row that is the second option or you can freeze the entire column that is the third option or you can freeze both that is the first option right freezing rows and columns so let's select this one and see if our rows and columns are frozen or not right so now let's scroll down and you can see our row is successfully frozen there right and similarly scroll towards right and you can see our column has been successfully frozen right so this is how you freeze rows and columns or you can freeze panes in excel so with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to freeze rows or how to freeze columns or how to freeze both the panes in Excel spreadsheet. So if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you need the resources that we use in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.